Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make adjustable concrete weights for dumbbells. The finished product is going to look something like this, and I'll show you how to assemble the dumbbell. So let's go through the, the pieces and the cost. So at the hardware store, I got chain with a 250 pound capacity per chain and they're 89 cents for a foot of chain got four of them so that's three dollars and fifty six cents this will make two dumbbells for my dumbbell handles i've got these turnbuckles they were 384 piece i've got two of them one per handle so that's seven dollars and sixty eight cents uh these are actually pretty hardy and expensive ones but at walmart i found uh, 150 pound capacity carabiners for 98 cents a piece. So you need four of those. That's going to be 3.92. So that brings you to a total fixed cost per hand or total fixed cost for the two handles is going to be $15.16 if you do this configuration. The other uh, things you're going to need is these little carabiners. 25 cents each. Uh, you can get washers. These ones are nice uh, steel, uh, stainless steel for 22 cents. You probably don't need them that nice. You can get cheaper ones or use any washers. Uh, this is parachute cord, which is you can get about 30 yards for about nine bucks. So that's 30 cents per foot. So the tools you're going to need some sort of scale. Uh, I was using a luggage scale, which I think is, uh, I already had that, it's convenient, I'll show you how that works. I think that's the best type of scale to use for this. Uh, something to cut your paracord, something to push a hole through the bottle caps. This I was just measure, using for measuring length of paracord. Uh, that so I don't uh, hurt myself when I'm poking holes in the bottle caps, and then I fashioned a little hook out of a piece of steel wire so that I can more easily pull the cord through the bottle cap. So the way you assemble this is so let me get my tools. So I take a piece of paracord. I'm doing about 12 inches so right about here so I'm gonna cut my paracord at 12 inches okay then I'm gonna tie my paracord so I just make a loop I'm gonna grab this end just gonna go around and through very simple slide the knot down so it's near near to the bottom pull it nice and tight okay looks like that then I'm gonna take a bottle cap and I need my washers to fit nicely in the center then I'm gonna put on my glove for pro protecting my hand I'm gonna hold the bottle cap like so line this uh, line my drill bit in the center of the, the washer so it's just centered on the bottle cap push and twist goes right through nice and easy okay then I'm gonna take my little steel wire hook put it through the the hole so it's sticking out then I'm gonna grab my loop I'm gonna hook it underneath the wire hook and I'm gonna pull it through the hole like so pull that nice and snug okay then I'm gonna add my carabiner onto my little loop like so okay 
Then I'm going to screw that on to my bottle and it's going to look like this. Okay. Now a two liter bottle is going to make a 10 pound weight. And this is filled with sand, concrete, and water. And it doesn't have to be uh, a mix to make a strong uh, cement, uh, or, or rather a strong concrete. You just mix a little bit of cement with the sand, just enough uh, water so that basically you don't want liquid water in here in case you ever get a crack you don't want anything to leak out so you put put it about two-thirds sand uh, maybe uh, uh, one-sixth cement mix let the water seep in through shake it up pour out the remaining water and let it harden okay I'm going to show you how to use this scale so first I turn it on let it zero out Okay, and then I'm going to hook it up through the, loop it through the, uh, the loop here, hook it there, lift it up. Okay, so it's hanging and that reads 10.2. Two, so pretty close. This scale only goes by by point two, so it's a it's a little over ten pounds, but basically they're they're within plus or minus uh, ten uh, ten pounds plus or minus about point two. So there you go. So the two liters make ten pounds. Uh, these little uh, five hundred milliliter ones make two and a half pounds. And then when you want to assemble your dumbbells, what you're going to do is you're going to take your carabiner and you're going to put it on to the end of the turnbuckle. And you put one on each end. So, second one here. Okay. So I've got carabiners hanging off. Then I'm going to take a piece of chain, I'm going to hook it to the end, and the other piece of chain, I'm going to hook it to the end, like so, okay. Then I'm going to take my 2 liter bottle, and I'm going to hook this this end to my chain like so and I'll take my other two in the bottle and I'm gonna hook that one to my chain like so okay and then I'll take my other one and my other one and I'll hook those also on a, the same link up, so looks like this and like this, okay, so now let's get this so you can see it, okay. So here's my dumbbell. I can do curls, I can do overhead press, I can do, uh, let's see, overhead tricep extensions. Okay, so this is, <laughs> probably can't do it, Ugh. it's a little heavy for, <laughs> for that. But anyways, it's adjustable. The point is it's adjustable. So this is 40 pounds right here, 10 pounds in each of these bottles. If I want to add, uh, you know, two and a half pounds, now I got 42 and a half pounds. So it's adjustable. And you can, you can make them, you know, 
all the way from <laughs> two and a half pounds up to however many bottles you can fit comfortably on there, probably easily 80 to 100 pounds on here. So anyways, that's my idea for adjustable dumbbells made super cheaply. These are about 30 cents a pound all told if you include all the fixed costs. And I made two sets of 75 pound adjustable dumbbells for about 40 something bucks total. So there you go. Hope you hope you like that design. Hope that helps you out. Uh, regular iron weights are expensive, and for me, uh, although I do have iron dumbbells uh, at home, here I'm at my parents for five weeks, so I didn't want to buy a set of dumbbells, and of course I'm not going to ship mine here to Alaska. So I decided to make something cheap and just as effective. So there you go. Enjoy.